Okay, so there's a lot going on. A lot going on on the Cooking with Jack show. We literally have um, more products being sent to the show to be reviewed. So we're going to take a look at that in a moment. Um, we've got comfort food all month of August. We're going to have a great, as we go into the holidays at the end of the year, September is going to be a great fall kickoff. The weather, everybody's waiting for it to cool down. So just be ready, okay? Because we're going to have some fun. outside. Say hi, Chris. Hello. And uh, he is my, uh, I, I have to say, the Kamado connoisseur. Okay, so we're uh, going to break this open right now. And all I can think about is it's perfect for camping, which I don't do. Perfect for apartments, which I don't have. Everything is per perfect for colleges. Oh, what is that? The instructions? The assembly instructions. All right. So give us a minute. We're gonna get this set up for you. We got all the parts he's taken out. Well, we'll take a look for a few minutes here. I'm just gonna follow him. Is your bottom great? You know what everything is, don't you? Look at, look at, she, he knows everything. Where's Tammy? Hey honey, come learn. I'm learning right now. Lame. I like Kamados. I just, I just, the vents, Those they look, kill me. appear to be bamboo. Oh, is that the handle? Yep. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Oh yeah, that is the handle right there on the picture. Okay guys, so this this inside piece, what's it called? The firebox. That's a firebox. You gotta make sure that you take that cut out right there on the firebox and line it up so you can what? To just so you can have access to yeah, air. Yeah, well you line your vent up right there so that. Yeah, it lines up with the vent. The cutout lines up with the vent so you get airflow. And get it centered in there. Yep, center it in there. And then you drop your face plate in there. So what's, plate. what's that for? That keeps your coals from falling down in there. It falling down, down in, in there like that. So you still have airflow, you don't plug it up. It doesn't plug exactly. up as it burns. It, it's a cute little, yeah, I like it. Yeah. Sure you get all the plastic off of everything. Oh yeah, peel all your plastic off, guys. We had plastic coated over the caution and you just don't want that stuff melting on. So it's better to just take it off when you first, you know, and then you gotta do a burn-in, don't you? Yeah. How long do we do a burn-in for this size? Probably an hour? Yeah. If that. Okay, guys, anytime you get a Kamado, do first, well, a lot, I like any smoker. Any grill, any, I mean, so many things. Like, it's recommended you burn in so it burns off any factory oils. And you, you get it at about over, anything over 500 degrees for probably an hour on this one. Okay, 500 degrees for an hour on this one. Let's step back so you can see the size. There you go. We're still working it. And then we'll go get our grill gun, which was sent to the show, which we appreciate and we love. And we get to use that for like, I think it's only the third time I've used it. Okay, guys, it's the grill gun. That's the name of it. We're going to, there we go. We can control the flame level. He's going to fire it up right now. Okay, it's so it's going good. All right, yep, now what do you say it's cute for, Tammy? I think it's cute for like a little apartment or, I mean, well, Chris said like for boating, which would be perfect. Tailgating, anything small. Yeah. Camping, tailgating, fishing. But you're not gonna run like a whole family Just party on that. Once no. again, wherever you put it, make sure it's in a good place that it's not a fire hazard. Because it is heavy. It is heavy, yes. But that that's probably the only thing I noticed that would be hard for me is to move it around by myself. But I appreciate your help. And it is a cute little device and it's smoking perfectly. Guys, I gotta tell you, I'm looking right at this thing. We've lifted it, we put it together. We've, we're burning right inside it right now, doing the burn in. And the one thing we noticed is the quality. This is some of the best stuff that's been sent to the show quality wise. If this was like, I could imagine like, this is like, all right, it's like big green egg quality, but in a tiny little package. It, I mean, the, the, the nuts, the bolts, the handles, the hardwood, Everything's solid, guys. 
solid. Okay guys, the seasoning of choice is the best prime steak rub. That's my favorite. And that is from Cosmos Q also. And we're doing some ribeyes today. So go ahead and season it right now. However, if you do it heavy, go ahead and do it heavy. If you do it light. It's gonna be heavy. Yeah, I, I don't care. Everybody on the show knows I'm a heavy seasoner. Because most of it's gonna fall off anyway. Yep. <laughs> but there you go, let's get in close so we can see. Yeah, he does a good job. That's exactly how I like it. Nice. All right, so we'll pick it up over by the grill. Yeah, we're gonna look at, uh, it's been over 550 degrees for about 20 minutes. Yep. And one of the things you wanna do when you're seasoning it is making sure that you get all the factory debris and dust and oil and, and stuff off of it. You can see how it's starting to change colors. Oh yeah, wow. You can see the changing of the color on the stainless. That's a stainless steel grill there. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay guys, how, what temperature we're at? We're at right at 500. Right at 500, that's where you wanna be? Yep, Oops. anywhere between 400 and 500 for a good sear on the steaks. All right, so they're heavily seasoned. They look beautiful, yummy. I'm gonna watch him uh, put them on the uh, grill right now. A little air gap between them, there just a little bit. So we can get that outside fat. Oh, smell that. Yeah. That smells like the steakhouse right there. Oh my goodness, did I tell you that seasoning was amazing? It's steakhouse seasoning, I'm telling you. That's what they use. I don't know what it's, what's in it. Okay, guys, the reason we did it at the edge of the garage so we could be just on the inside because it just started pouring. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's coming down hard. We're gonna okay. Check them just to see what we're looking like. That's pretty good. Are you flipping them now? That. Wow, that fire just took off. Is that because it's getting a lot of oxygen yep. right now? Wow, so when you close it up, what's gonna happen now? The fire will die down. Right. And it'll go back to more indirect heat rather than flame. Got it. So for a steak, how long do you cover it, wrap it, whatever people wanna do to let it rest? Usually 10 to 15 minutes, um, sometimes longer, depending on when you pull them off and what the temperature is and what consistency you want to stay. Okay. These, we got a little higher temp on them, quicker than we anticipated, so we're not gonna cover them for 10 or 15 minutes. So we'll do five and- So they don't and cook check. up anymore. Yes, right. because they will continue cooking once you cover them up. So we're ready to peek? Yep, let's take a peek at them. Wow. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at all that juice. Look at that, it is beautiful. Wow, look at that. All that, now that's why you cover it up so the moisture can get back into the meat and become juice yep. again. It's perfect, dude. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay. It's perfect. Absolute perfect. That steak, I haven't had a steak that good in months. In months. Not at a restaurant, nowhere. So I gotta tell you, check out this. There's a link down below regarding this Kamado. If you want it for camping, apartments, uh, you want to use it anywhere, even on a boat. It, just be safe because it gets really, really hot and it's really really heavy make sure it's secured locked down all that so anyways thank you for sending it to the show um i've got the name of it on the screen right now and the links down below if you want to look into it i love you guys i'm gonna go finish my steak bye bye